The purpose of, of LRO is to provide data and information to safely go back to the moon. And our experience in the past, this includes Apollo, but it's also true of the Martian landers, where we've worked, done the same kind of work there, is that uh, a lander is built in such a way with an assumption that you know, when it lands, it, it, there are going to be rocks underneath, and it can only take a certain size of rock. And the ones that on uh, on the Mars landers, for example, I think if there was a 30 centimeter rock, which is about one foot, and it landed on top of it, it would be just okay, all right? So they're interested to know how, how high these rocks are to see whether in fact a particular area is safe to land. Because if you have a, a roughness, as we call it, a rocks of, of three or four feet, there's no way a lander can get down there. LOLA is a laser altimeter. Uh, it sends a short pulse of light from the spacecraft. It is then split into five separate pulses. So actually five pulses go down to the surface, hit the surface, come back again and come to five different detectors on the spacecraft and hence derive the distance of the surface below the spacecraft. And we do this uh, about 140 times per second. In addition to the altimetric measurement we call, which is the distance measurement to the surface, we measure something we call the pulse spreading, which is the fact that the laser pulse that goes out is, is, is shaped rather like a, a pulse, a, a, a Gaussian curve. That, cur that pulse goes to the surface and because of the surface features it gets distorted, it gets sp spread as we call it. If it's like a sheet of ice or let's say water or glass, there'll be no spreading of the pulse. If in fact it's all got rocks and lumps and bumps on it, then the pulse will come back spread. And although we don't know exactly the distribution of the rocks or the bumps, we can say approximately what the spread of the uh, heights, if you like, within that five meter spot are. It was not easy to do this uh, instrument as quickly as, it, as we needed to. We knew approximately what they would need and so myself and, and colleagues got together and, and sat down and thought about the stringent requirements that clearly were going to come along for uh, this mission in terms of say an altimeter and uh, we like most of these things you have a hiccup along the way at least once or twice but uh, we have a great instrument team and uh, they worked very hard, weekends as well, trying to get this thing together. So right now, the instrument's on the spacecraft and it's beautiful, it's spectacular.